Practical investigations are a cornerstone of science education, providing hands-on experiences that deepen understanding and spark curiosity. These investigations not only enhance scientific literacy, but also develop critical thinking skills, preparing students for future careers in STEM. Scientists use a variety of investigative approaches to explore the natural world, uncover new knowledge, and solve complex problems. In this video, we'll dive into five common types of scientific investigations that help scientists unravel the mysteries of the universe. 1. Pattern Seeking Pattern seeking investigations involve observing and recording natural events or conducting experiments in which variables cannot be easily controlled. Let's examine some of the key points. A. Observing and recording variables or factors. B. Identifying patterns resulting from these variables. C. Well suited for system sciences like geology, astronomy, ecology, or meteorology. D. This type of investigation can lead to other investigations or help create models to explain observations. Pattern seeking is beneficial when studying complex systems or phenomena that are difficult to isolate in controlled experiments. For example, scientists have collected and analyzed data over several decades to investigate the relationship between carbon dioxide emissions and global atmospheric temperatures. Identifying a clear pattern in their correlation. 2. Exploring and observing. This method focuses on discovering new knowledge through careful observation. The following are the key aspects of this type of investigation. Using senses to examine objects, environments, interactions, or events. It often utilizes tools like magnifying glasses, telescopes, or microscopes to extend sensory capabilities. Recording observations, often in the form of labeled diagrams. The finding from this type of investigation serves as a foundation for other types of investigations. Exploring and observing are fundamental to scientific discovery and often lead to new questions or hypotheses. For example, observing a sample of water from a pool to observe the microorganisms using a microscope. 3. Modeling. Modeling involves creating representations of scientific concepts or systems to better understand them. This method helps explain observations and predict outcomes. The model can be physical, conceptual, or mathematical. Models allow for the testing of ideas in situations where direct experimentation is impractical. Models are particularly useful for understanding complex systems or abstract concepts. For example, creating a model to study the effects of seismic waves generated during an earthquake on buildings. 4. Classifying and identifying. This investigative approach involves sorting objects or events into groups or categories. Let us examine the key features of this type of investigation. It involves developing and using clear systems or criteria. It often requires a key for identification processes. This method of investigation helps us to understand relationships and connections between things. It also facilitates clear communication among scientists. Classification systems can evolve as new information becomes available, leading to new scientific discoveries. For example, Rocks and minerals can be classified into different categories on the basis of their hardness. 5. Fair testing. Fair testing is a method where variables are controlled to ensure reliable results. Let us examine the key features of fair testing investigations. Changing only one factor, the independent variable, while keeping others constant. Measuring the effect on a dependent variable. Ensuring repeatability of the experiment, often conducted in laboratory settings, with rigorous control variables, while fair testing is important. It may not always be suitable for understanding complex ideas 
or answering all types of scientific questions. For example, to investigate the effect of light on seed germination, you need to conduct two experiments side by side. In one setup, you provide all the necessary factors for germination, while in the other, you remove light to observe its impact. These diverse investigation types allow scientists to approach research questions from different angles, providing a comprehensive understanding of scientific phenomena. Thanks for watching this video. We will see you soon with another science video on this channel.